just getting it ready to braise up. Got some wet rag, wet paper towel over the sight glass. Uh, thoroughly wet all the way around. See if it'll focus right there. And um, this is not braised, this is compression. God, I hate compression. This is gonna be the port for the pressure sensor for the head control right there. That's gonna be uh, the port for that, for the sensor. It's not gonna use all the screw on, press in the, the little extensions with another extension with a T and all that. Those are all possibility of compression fittings that have more possibilities to leak. So if I could get it and narrow down my compression fittings down to one compression fitting by using a brazed in piece right there, then I know I have one chance to leak, actually two. You have your compression fitting that can leak, but your valve body from inside up through the casing of the epoxy inside through the wires, that's your nether, the sensor itself can fail inside the case. I'm down to two, not three or four or five. So I won't do that little T mess off of there. Uh, our pre we're prepped here, all ready for brazing. And uh, get prepped here and pull it back to its, right to that ridge, you see that line they have from the factory? I'm gonna have it pulled back right to about there and braze it right there. And uh, just prior, I dump a little water on here until where I have water droplets coming down off of all this stuff. And as long as you can keep liquid water on here, and even if you hear a little sizzling, as long as you can keep that with liquid wet water, you're not really exceeding 212 degrees to keep your temperature away and keep your flame going away from the valve. Don't come here and have a flame going up under here and heating up down there. You don't want the heat up. You try to keep your flame in the direction away from the valve itself. Uh, too many guys complain of sight glasses leaking, valves leaking, or uh, expansion valves going bad. It's because they don't thoroughly have enough cooling on the devices themselves, and they often heat the valve by pushing the flame right in here like this, and they heat up this core right here, and it ruins the seals inside there. Same on uh, expansion valves. Uh, another problem is if you're flowing nitrogen, you don't want to flow the nitrogen in this direction because you're heating up that nitrogen to over 2000 degrees. And so you're bringing 2000 degree hot flowing nitrogen into the seals, into the valve body. Same with the expansion valve, the same with your sight glass. It's nice, turn, flip your nitrogen in the opposite direction. So you're flowing nitrogen through coming out and coming in this direction push your nitrogen in here and have it going in this direction not in this direction you can if you want some people do it but when they com complain that they get leaky uh, valves well that's the risk you take uh, it's just like expansion valves have your flow of nitrogen going through the expansion valve coming out of the expansion valve into your fitting not from your fitting heat up the nitrogen and have it flow through your expansion valve all right let's get off to the next one